What's going on you guys? Hope you guys are doing well and I'm glad you're back for another one. We are still going in this coyote tips and tricks strategies type series. Uh, now getting into episode four. Tonight we're going to talk about what I use on nighttime setups, nighttime hunting for coyotes and predators. In a future video, we'll go through what I use in daytime setups. I always use this Alaska Guide Creations Bino Pack right here. This thing is very handy. I can pretty much put everything that I need within this pack itself. And if not, a few cargo pockets on each side will secure the rest of the items that I need to take with me. For me, filming my hunts and all that stuff, I do need to take a little more gear than I would if I was not filming, of course. But this right here will give you guys a good rundown of what I use on my nighttime setups and equipment that I use for nighttime hunting. Getting right into it, you'll see this lanyard right here. This is from Coyote Cords. Make sure and check those guys out. But this is a lanyard to my thermal scanner. I use the Pulsar Helion thermal scanner. Very handy. This thing is running constantly as soon as I get to my setup and start calling. And even before I get started calling, I always get out of the truck, immediately scan to see what's out there. There's been times whenever I've closed the door on the truck, have my rifle on the tripod, still standing by the truck and scan and already see a coyote out working some mice in a field or whatever it might be. So this right here always stays in this large bino pack right here up top with the closed lid and the bungee cord. Just very handy and keeps everything secure. Uh, going right here, this thing, I'll mention too, this thing's fit a little bit loose, so it hangs down just a little bit because I'm not all layered up uh, outside hunting right now, of course. So typically this would be riding up just a little bit higher, but over off to the side, got this handy little compartment here, little pouch for my e-call remote using the Fox Pro tonight. So that's what I've got thrown in here on nights that I use Lucky Duck. The Lucky Duck fits right in there as well. Slides right in, and this right here provides nice security keeps your remote from getting scratched up, whatever. That stays right there at all times. Uh, up top, just keep this little bitty pin light. Uh, that's handy for, you know, might drop something on the ground, um, whatever you need, just something quick and easy to get to. Very dim little light there. And up top on the other pouch, there's two different kind of elastic type pouches up here. I always keep my diaphragm. Uh, this is the MFK Howler Diaphragm. This thing is awesome. Use this on almost every single set, every single stand. That stays right here nice and handy. And then moving on down to the side here. We've got one other MFK Diaphragm. In here is the Blackout Howler. I uh, switch back and forth, but mainly I use the red one, the pink one. Uh, that's the competition Howler. That stays in the side pocket right here. And then moving to the front, this just gets stored in here, but this is my Black Diamond headlamp. Been using Black Diamond for a long time. Use it coyote hunting, turkey hunting, deer hunting, fixing cars, whatever. This goes right here when I'm done hunting, but on the first set, the first stand, typically wearing a toboggan, this will go up top on my head and it'll stay there until the night's done. So that goes there, and then whenever this is up on my head, this pocket is closed and not really used, except for I have a mouse squeaker in here. So get a coyote coming, it might be charging, whatever it might be. I can just reach down, hit that however I need to. That just stays right in there. Little mouse squeaker, Primos, makes that. Zip that back up, and onto the other side, wind checker. Constantly using this. If you're not checking the wind, you're not playing the wind, you're not killing coyotes, guarantee you right now. Down at the bottom, this is the version, the Alaska Guide Creations version with the, I forget if they call it the cub pocket, I'm not sure what this is, but it's got a bottom, a basement compartment. And coyote cords again, this is where I keep my uh, two coyote drag. You can hook two coyotes up to this bad boy. And that's just super handy. Throw your hand in here, drag them through the field. And that, that just always stays down here at the bottom. And on the back, it's got a little 
compartment that goes against your chest. Keep some extra batteries in here. Uh, typically keep my, typically throw my hunting license in there and then I just carry a multi-tool. So that's it for the bino pack. You can see there's all kinds of storage and I could probably cram a little bit more stuff in here if I need to, but extra things like gloves and maybe hand warmers or whatever, uh, those can go in cargo pockets on my bibs that I typically wear. That's it for the bino pack. Super handy, keeps everything right there. Like I say, once I get to my stand, uh, get set up, I'm scanning with a thermal scanner. And then right here, you guys have all seen this. This is the night rig running the Thermion XP50 from Pulsar, just like the Pulsar scanner. So that's it, guys. That's what I use on a night hunting setup for thermal related. Now we'll kind of get into you guys that have questions on red lights, white lights, green lights, hunting with lights instead of thermal or night vision. So I'm going to make some changes here real quick. Let me switch this out. All right, so back whenever I was hunting with lights, I always use red lights. Just because I'm thermal hunting now, I actually don't have this set up for red lights, but this gives you guys a good idea of what it would look like. Any sort of bracket would work fine, but you would just take this, mount this to the actual scope, and then up here at the top, your red light would set in there. So whenever you're scanning on a tripod, your red light's always following along with the scope and the rifle barrel. Then you would always be hands-free rifle ready with the red light on it and then you typically have like a pressure pad hooked up to your light and then once you put pressure on that pad that's going to activate the rifle light and this right here i just have it set up right now as a scanning light but this is actually the same light that i used on my weapon mounted light this is a wicked lights um, i will make sure and link this down below awesome lights right here i've actually done reviews on both of these uh, within the channel if you want to take a look at those and we'll get into this a little bit more in detail on a different video But this is just to give you kind of a quick idea of how I set up and use red lights before I started using thermal So the way this is set up now is just with this handle that comes with the wicked lights kit You can just use this as a scanner just like this Or what I always did Is I would actually use the head mounted system which makes you completely hands-free this thing's pretty awesome we'll get into this at a future video like i mentioned but this thing has a rio stat up here where you know you can control not only the pitch the zoom the beam distance but you can control the brightness too dim and bright uh, by this knob over here but there's also a video on the channel of all this stuff uh, as far as the red lights go but i'll make sure and throw a card up top you guys can take a look at it there but that's kind of a quick rundown of how i set up for night hunting like i mentioned in a future date we will have set up for daytime hunting kind of gives you guys an idea what everything looks like what the gear i use looks like like i mentioned i'll link this stuff down below that i use that i trust there's also an amazon link down there of several different coyote hunting items take a look at that all that stuff that i threw in there that's all stuff that i've used in the past or that i know is good quality equipment uh, any questions with any of this stuff, like always, make sure and comment down below. I try to get back to those questions as quickly as I can. Appreciate you guys being here. I always like helping you guys out, trying to answer any questions you might have. Once again, this is just my opinion. This is my way of doing things. Put some of this stuff to use. Get out there. Kill some more coyotes. Comment down below. Make sure and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Appreciate you guys being here. Happy hunting. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.